we go. What, no scramble today? There we go. There you go, boy. Ooh, big old yawn. Trust me, I feel you, boy. Turn that a little bit. Let's get the towel. Oh. Trust me, my eyes are already as heavy as your chunky self. You little chunky bit. There we go. Oops. She's gonna come jumping out here sooner or later. And boop. Hey boy. Well, you are ready to go, huh? You wanna say hi to everybody first? Or do you even care? You do not care. Alright. Well, cut the grapes big today. So, uh, we can't get in there. There we go. Smack, 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 smack. Hey, everybody. <gasps> oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. I've been my week ran since last Friday. Oh yeah, today's Thursday, so we're uh, kicking off our four-day weekend, which is four and a half if you look at the clock the right way, so, you know. There you go, boy. Let's get a little red sweet one in there. There you go. Well, you knew what that was. Oh, there we go. Smack, 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 smack. Get that money shot. We've actually had some uh, cooler weather, if cooler is a thing. Uh, it's been like, I don't know, three degrees cooler on average, which I know doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're riding a bicycle to work in the morning before sunrise, it makes a huge difference when you're not a puddle of sweat by the time you get there. Big thing is a uh, cool front that just came through. Uh, a huge drop in humidity, and that's what really makes the difference. What you say, boy? Want to say hi to everybody? You gonna try and climb up? You're too far away from the arm, boy. Yeah, I know. I'm making you wait on purpose. You're old enough. You can learn a little bit of patience. You're also falling off my lap again. Come on, scoot back. There we go. So precious. So, as it stands now, no real stories to share today. I'm sure we'll have some tomorrow because I'm going to be doing some stuff with him this evening. But, at least for the next 24 hours, I mean, i got a couple of things I have to take care of, but the primary plan is sleep and chill pretty much it I'm gonna hang with the kids make sure I give them ample enough of my time and um, that's pretty much it I mean somewhere in the middle of all that a uh, little bit's laundry might happen Oh, you got it, boy. Don't drop it. But I got to go to the store to buy some bleach first. All those towels. My God. I think we're up to like 30 towels now. In rotation. I'm sure I'm exaggerating, but it's definitely more than 15. Come on, boy. Don't slouch. You're going to ruin your posture. As if you ever had any. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Get you another red sweet one. There you go. Grab the grape and not my fingers. Thank you. Dude, I know you're excited about the grapes, but calm down. There you go. Look how stubby his legs are. I mean, most possums look like that, but it, it, it's more with him because he's a runt. Not quite a dwarf. I actually saw one of those recently. Not for real. I saw a video. I did not know. Oh, look. Super money shot. Smack, 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 smack. Ooh, 
Can I catch it in time? I'm not really sure what I just took a picture of. I think I just took a picture of him sneezing. <laughs> but anyway, uh, no, I saw a video a while back. I'm going to have to see if I can find it again. If I can find it, I'll put a link down in the description, if I remember. Um, the, uh, somebody had a, a special needs baby, like Lil Bit, only that one uh, had dwarfism. You know, much like a per like much much like a person gets. You know, I'm saying that wrong because they're persons too. They're just little furry persons with prehensile ears. <sighs> Which has got to be nature's greatest gift to animal lovers anywhere. It's just watching him move his ears. Look at that. Look at that. If I keep doing that, he's probably going to turn around and snap at me. <laughs> or his version of it, which will be like just a long side eye. You done, boy? Hey, I got some more sweet ones. You want that one? There you go. Yeah, I think he's done. And me too. Because after this, I'm going to make sure the other kids are good. I think we're just going to go take a nap. Y'all done, boy? Oh, big old yawn. I got some more if you want them, but... Nah, he's done. I'm not going to try and force him today. Look, he's doing the thing. Oh, and he's rolling over. <laughs> I got you, boy. You're, I'm not going to let you fall. That only happened once, and it was actually your fault, but kind of both of us. You ready to get down? There you go. Don't worry, I got you. You know I'm not going to drop you, boy. Oh, so are we going to the room, or are we going to the sofa? All right, we're going to the room. Oh, take your time, son. Whoops, I just stepped on his tail. You okay, boy? You okay? Is your tail all right, boy? You okay? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your tail. You all right, son? Where are we going? Yeah, we got a lot of cleaning up to do. I do have a surprise for you for tomorrow's dinner, boy. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna go climb in there, and my screen protector just fell off my camera lens. That's always good. You're the one that pulled your towel out of there, boy. bit. What you doing, boy? You alright? You good? Ooh, big ol' yawn. Say hey to everybody. Alright. Well, we're gonna let him figure out what he's doing. And like I said, I'm gonna go check on the kids. And I think we're all going to go take a nap. So. Y'all take care. Be safe in this heat. We love you. And we'll catch you in the next one. Provided my hip doesn't give out. Oh, there we go. It's okay, boy. I got a surprise for you today. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't want to get up. Neither did I. That's what happens when you start getting old. 
which for you is a relative term, for me it's an absolute term. So, hold on. I am literally 39 times your age. I think I did the math there, 1.2. Yep, 39 times your age. You all right, boy? Come on, let's get everything together. Today's a special undo the ear. <laughs> it's just silly. There we go. Hold on, let me get the camera. We got some surprises for you today. Oh, ooh, look at that. Well, ever since I started giving you those extra supplements, you've been getting a lot more alert. There we go. Of course, you wouldn't have that problem if you ate all your dinner. Hey, everyone. It's us. Little bit, big bit, every bit, a whole lot of bit, bit. Anyway, so today is that day. Yes, it's that day. Oh, Friday. Yeah, it's Friday. Day one of the four day weekend. Or if you want to be mathematical about it, yes, I'm making you wait a little bit. There's a reason. Uh, it'd be like day 1.3 out of a four day weekend. Oh. Okay, that's what I was waiting for. I wanted to get that yawn out of the way. We got the super grapes. I don't know what day this video is going up, but I'm pretty sure most of y'all seen that earlier today, Friday, I had posted that short about finding the, the super grapes, the monster grapes. Oh, look at that. Look how much he loves that. Smack, 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 smack. Get a super money shot right there. I have to go with a different thumbnail, though, because I keep doing that face shot, and it's... Let's change it up. Let's see if we can find one. Anywho... So, we found some ginormous grapes, and they weren't by themselves either. All, almost every bag on the shelf at Walmart, of the, these green grapes anyway, were these big, big grapes. So, I guess they got a bumper crop or something, or they were just selling the small ones while these were growing. So, anyway, something funny happened a moment ago. Um, when I went to go pick them up, I ran back and grabbed uh, the phone. Um, I'll just let you see for yourself. This is how he was sleeping before I picked him up. And um, it's adorable, isn't it? So, and then I had to run back, put the phone down, because it does require both arms to pick him, to bring him in here. Uh, so y'all hear me messing with him scrambling every time we go to sit down. He doesn't always do it, but when he does, he's quite energetic about it. The funny thing is, okay, so you saw how he was just sleeping. You know, face down, ass up, that kind of thing. One leg kicked over. So I went to straighten him up, and he literally, he was already awake. He was trying to fake me out. Uh, he tucked his head in even more. And I watched him squinch his eyes, shake his head, and he's like, Daddy, I'm not awake. Leave me alone. And it was so hilarious. There you go. You see, you're glad I woke you up this, this now, aren't you? Come on. Get back over here, boy. I'd like to know what they did to my chair. It did not used to lean back this far. Oops. There we go. There we go. There's another super money shot. Smack, 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 smack. So anyway. Oh, not to give a sob story. I really are having a good day. I'm doing absolutely nothing but watching some YouTube and actually binge watching Star Trek Voyager for the first time. I never had the opportunity to watch it. Um, about two thirds of the way through season three right now. It's pretty good. Listen to that. Uh, 
And that's to tell you how much I love them because somebody somebody sitting next to me chew, chewing loud like that, I'd just smack the hell out of them. But anyway, so actually having a pretty good day. I'm just not moving around too much because the fibromyalgia is bad flare up. That's what we call a high pain day. I don't know what it's like for others that have it. I've had stories and stuff. They talk about aches and pains, but mine's systemic, which means literally every inch of my body is in agony 24 hours a day, even when I'm asleep. It never goes away. But I do not let that stop me from functioning and taking care of my babies. And it just, it's the reason why he's one of the highlights, him, Salem, and now Serena. Because you tend to be tired when you spend most of your nights at least two or three times to wake up screaming in pain. Again, that's not a sob story. It's just why sometimes I sound like I don't feel so well. But I am, I, I, even beside that, I have to say I'm a blessed child. I got this little fella in my life. I got the other two big fellas in my, and, and lady in my life. I got the kids outside. Oh, look at that. He is so adorable. And it's things like this that make it worth getting up every day. The point to all of that rambling is it's important to value the good things in your life. Because, ooh, tonsil, wow, that was a tonsil shot. Even when things seem rough and bad, you really gotta value the things that make it worth getting up in the morning. And these kids, they definitely make my day every day, even my bad days. Because, I mean, how can you have a bad day looking at this adorable little creation right here? Here you go, boy. You're going to eat some extra grapes today, aren't you? Just based on the size of these things alone, you've already eaten twice as much as you normally do. Come on, let's scoot you back a little bit. Sorry, I let the towel slip. There we go. <sighs> Going back, I forgot who it was who asked me. I don't know, was it uh, Miss Sarah Frey, or however you say that, your username, had asked me about how um, his weight, size, and everything. I'm sorry if I got the wrong name. My apologies, but... Uh, so, as I reported previously, he's 7.89 pounds and holding. I measured him. Ooh, smack, 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 smack. Ultra adorable bubbleness. Uh, I measured him a third and fourth time. Measured, weighed him. And yeah, 7.89 pounds. That's an accurate reading, including the tail. And as for how long he is, I wasn't able to get all the way to the tip of the tail to get an accurate reading. But to somewhere around right here, it's about 18 inches. So we'll call that 21, 21 inches maybe. That's how big I was when I was born. Way back in the mid 70s. That was a good day for mankind. Oops, well, I just threw that all over the place. Here you go, boy. Sorry, I was busy throwing your grape across the room. Let me see if I can get to it. Oh, this is going to hurt. Ow, ow, ow. Making old people sounds. There we go. No offense to any old people out there, but I can say that because I am one. See, he wants it because it's super juicy. You got two pieces left, boy. You think you could stuff them in there? I try very hard not to overfeed him. Which, believe it or not, the easiest way to do that... <laughs> he's just never... You, do you want it? Oops, there you go. 
I was talking to some other pet, various pet owners recently, and it seems it's a common misconception that you have to be careful how much food you let an animal eat. The easiest way to control that is put the food out there and walk away. Just never let them think they have to wait for their food. Because then when they get it, they're going to gorge because they never know when their next meal is coming. You sure you don't want it, boy? It's a big, fat, juicy when It's the last one. Nope. Okay, I'll eat that one. I point this out because it became an important conversation. Um, people talking about overweight animals and stuff. Of my 47 plus years of life, I have cared for many, many, many diverse animals. Dogs, cats, birds, a muskrat once. Um, even had a, a baby gator for a couple days. I mean, you, you name it, this is South Louisiana. You name it, we got it. Even had a baby bobcat for a brief time. Ooh, he's doing, he was doing the thing. But the thing is, in all those years, I have never fed an animal on a schedule. Unless you count this with the grapes and a little bit, but that's just snack time. That's... That's just us having time together. Because I could quite easily put the grapes on the floor and just walk away. Okay, so we're going in here again. You really want to embarrass me with my carpet, don't you? But anyway, as long as they know that the food is there and they don't have to worry about it, they will never overeat. And that's just a simple fact. They only overeat when they feel there's competition or they're not sure if the food's going to be there. Where are you going, little bit? Alright, let's go get the other view. If anybody's new here, get used to this. This is my messy house. Hey, boy. The opening's over here, boy, if you want to climb inside. Or did you make another one? I'll be damned, he made another one. I literally did not know that was there. Come on a little bit, why don't you come over on this side? I can actually reach you over here if I need to. He usually climbs in right here. Come on, boy. Come on a little bit. Don't worry, I'm not going to pick you up again. At least not right now. Yeah, boy. Why don't you come in here? Why don't you climb in here, boy? That's your usual spot. Yeah. Why don't you go hide away in there and take the rest of your nap, okay? Oops, I got you, I got you. Yeah. Sometimes he forgets his legs don't work so well. What's really funny is because this is where I sit when I'm playing my video games or watching TV. <laughs> and I can feel him climbing around under there. Alright, well, we're going to leave him be. Uh, Y'all take care, we love you, and we'll catch you in the next one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Wow, there you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Make sure you're in the right spot. Oh, I'm going to go on. You good, boy? Okay, let me get the towel. Come on. There we go. Oh, I just realized we're color coordinated today. Didn't even think about that. There you go. Get yourself together. <coughs> Excuse me. And. There we go. How you doing, boy? Yeah, I saw you were awake a while ago. Hey, everybody. It's us. How's everybody doing? It's... Uh, what day is today? I have no clue. Saturday. It's Saturday. Oh, wow. Here you go, boy. Yeah, we still got these big old ginormous grapes. I had to cut them into... Woo! Serena. Hey, girl. 
you gotta warn a boy before you do that. I gotta lock the chair. There we go. He's gonna tip us over. There we go. Well, last night she was seriously trying to cuddle up to him. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> yeah, girl. Hold on, I'm feeding baby boy. Who is incident? Ow! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Who is incidentally older than you? So yeah, this is bound to get interesting here. <laughs> there you go, girl. Okay, so for comparison, she's just over a year old. And as my cousin Sammy said when she brought her here, she's a chunker. Meow. She used to eat too much. She's starting to slim down to a more appropriate weight. But, um, looking at baby boy here, I was, uh, doing some digging around. I'm going to put up a couple few pictures here while we're talking. Um... They're from around September 28th to 30th of last year. Uh, just a couple weeks. Ooh, I know, that one was a bit big. Boy, I'm sorry. I wasn't sure if it was too big or not. Oh, look at that. Money shot. Smack, 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 smack. As I was saying, um, I was about two weeks after I rescued him off the porch. And... I don't think I really have to say anything, just make the comparison for yourself. I sometimes forget just how small he was whenever he came into our lives. And um, originally, I could hold him in one hand. Of course, he sp his tail and everything spilled over, of course. Because he was somewhere around, we estimate, about four months old at the time I picked him up. Um, he might be a little older than that. But since that put his birthday right smack on top of my birthday, you know, it works out. But like I said, back then, I could hold him in one hand. This hand, in fact. Any questions? And, um, at that time, he was almost literally just skin and bones. So much of his muscle mass was gone because he was starving to death with his struggle with his legs to get up on the porch, which was only two steps, by the way. And, um, because of that, that, that night, August 7th, when I was trying to, ha no, that was when I first met him, was August 7th. It was a couple of weeks after that. Um, that evening I was trying to help him. That's when I realized that this, the scope of this problem is because I went to put some more food out. And he was right there at the plate. And that's when I realized he had diminished mental capacities, you know. No instinct. No, nothing. He just, he knew he was scared. He knew he was supposed to do something, but he didn't know what. And when he did go to leave after he ate, he was struggling so hard, I had to help him down the steps because he was falling. And if it sounds like I'm getting a little choked up, I am, because even then, I was in tears. Hey boy, yeah, we're talking about you. Little bitty tiny itsy bitsy you. And um that's what sealed it in my mind what was gonna happen. And um it was still about a week and a half before he um, yeah, it was right around ten days before he showed up again. No, it was a little longer than that, so it was about a month. Um, anyway, so September 13th, at 3 o'clock in the morning, I stuck my head outside. Ooh, tonsil shot. 
to go use the bathroom in the middle of the night took a look outside the door and there he was grabbed the towel scooped him up and here we are but mostly I just wanted to just make a little comparison to then and now kind of thing hold on boy you still got some more grapes left hey 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 you sure nah he's done whoa whoa wait wait you know you can't do that on your own son I mean, you can, but it won't end well. There you go. Which way are we going today? Back to the sofa? To the room? I don't know why he decided to start coming back in here lately, but... We're not going to make a big deal out of it. In fact, uh... Hold on. I was up a good portion. I slept on the sofa last night. And he was right here, <laughs> right underneath me. Oops. Refocus. Oh, he's doing the thing, but it's so far away. Not exactly the best lighting. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Hey, Serena. We love you, too. Ah, uh, here he comes. Meow. Yeah, we hear you. She is a talker. Hey, hey, hey. Calm, girl, you can't do that so fast. Come on, little bit. It's okay, boy. Come on, little bit. Poor thing. He just... He... Oh, slow down. <laughs> trying to hold her by the tail. She wants to go play with him. You're scaring him, girl. I know you don't mean to. You gotta be patient with him. He doesn't understand you mean well. He also can't see so well, so you bowling up on his whiskers like that scares him. Oh, he sees this big old furry shadow and then, boom, you up his nose. <laughs> and then she goes. <laughs> Fortunately, no harm comes from the contact. At least not yet. See, he really doesn't mind her that much. It's just she scares him. Startles him, I should say, to be more appropriate. And a lot of times that evening, whenever she's laying somewhere, he will quite intentionally come up and check her out. But then she gets excited and wants to play, and, well, you saw what happened. Normally I would have stopped recording, but I want to keep an eye on these two, just to make sure everything stays cool. And, there's no reason not to share. I mean, we are, after all, one big family. You know, I never really did check to see if he could get under the chair, the sofa that on that side. He quite possibly can. And it looks like he actually can. I just hope he doesn't make me have to flip this thing over again. It weighs about 400 pounds. Because it's actually a um, recliner set off of a sectional my boss gave me. And it is solid wood and steel. Okay. I think at this point we can go ahead and cut it off. I gotta go produce this video for tonight anyway. 
Alright y'all, so thanks for hanging with us. We love you and we'll catch you in the next one.